All right, now let's calculate one of these predicted x or predicted y values. Uh, these lessons right here, these formulas I use in this lesson deviate considerably from the ones used in the book. I like these better. I think they're simpler for the students to understand. So here's what we got. We got x prime. That's predicted x. That means we don't know what x is. Remember when we go up to this chart right up here. So we don't know what the x is, but we know what y is. So we're going to try to solve for this predicted x. That's x prime. Likewise, we use another formula, predicted y, when we don't know what the y is, but we have the x. In this case, we would have this x value, and we need to predict what y is. So that's the first thing you've got to get a perspective on. Other than that, everything else in this formula is going to be given to you. This is simply the correlation of the two variables, the standard deviation of the x, the standard deviation of the y, the y raw score is given to you in the problem. This is the mean of the y data and the mean of the x data. Predicted y formula is similar. Some of the variables are flipped around, but they're all the same variables. And all these variables will be given to you in the problem. So you just got to plug the appropriate variables in and perform the proper order of operations and get the number.